Hi guys, Tom here from the Miniature War Room. Today we're going to be having a look at the Army Painter brush collection for wargaming, modelling, any type of painting uh, that you can do on a mini. Okay, the first three brushes that you can see in front of you, the red brushes, are the wargamers, sorry, the Army Gamers hobby collection. You've got three hobby brushes there. Uh, they come in precise detail highlighting and base color. Now the precise detail brush will allow you to perform any precision paint jobs uh, on your miniatures so it's got a very very sharp point uh, I would say it's small enough to get anywhere on your model okay um, there's a lot of guys that will just go down to this size of brush the, the Wargamer collection does go smaller but as the brush says uh, as insane detail uh, this is a smaller one than that called a cycle. We'll get to that in a wee second. Anyway, so the precision detail brush is going to allow you to perform precision paint jobs. Okay, the next brush up, which is your highlighting brush, so it's just an all round brush for making detailed highlights on your models. Again, the tip is sharp enough, sharp enough to get to those hard enough areas, uh, hard to get to areas on the miniature. Your third brush there is your base coating brush. Now, the base coating brush. Uh, it's perfect for just bulking, bulk painting infantry. Uh, it's got the right thickness for holding enough paint without it spilling all over the place, guys. So that's basically the three hobby brushes. Now, I would actually say in comparison, the three hobby brushes here are actually more like budget brushes compared to the Wargamer collection in front of you. I don't know if we can see close enough. I don't think so, which is unfortunate because the detail on the tip here is very, very sharp. Okay, now bear in mind, these brushes have been, been getting used for quite a while. I haven't had any of the brushes lose their tip. I haven't had any of the brushes splaying on me, but don't forget that that's all down to you. If you let your paint, you can see a bit of paint up here, that's just off my fingers, but... If you let your paint go up into the furrow, what will actually happen is the paint goes up into the furrow of the brush and the paint dries inside the furrow and what that does is it causes the tip of the brush to splay when it dries and you'll find it very, very, very difficult to get the sharp point on your brush. Okay, usually resulting in you just having to buy a new brush. Okay, so that's those three brushes there. Uh, if you're a beginner just trying to get into the hobby um, don't waste your money on Citadel crap to be honest I don't like it um, these can be used by both beginners and pro painters they're acceptable uh, to get extremely good results okay so that's the basic hobby set now you can pick these up for I think these run about £3.50 a brush uh, or $3.50 a brush Get them on eBay, get them on the Army Painter website, uh, they're easy to get a hold of. Alright guys, uh, <clears throat> the next brushes we have here, uh, we'll start from smallest to largest. We have the Psycho, okay, now uh, the Psycho is a, it's the smallest brush I've certainly seen for painting minis. Um, I, you know, I've read a bit about it, it says it's been specifically designed uh, for wargaming just so you can get those small... Um, the small precision details on like space marines uh, I don't know space marines eyes and, and actual like pinpoint I usually have a, I used to use a uh, I used to use a toothpick to put the, the pupil in the finish of a model's eye but now I use this brush um, this brush here is handmade uh, and it's Rothmarder Sable this is a Rothmarder Sable brush, uh, with the elegant and famous, um, as the as Army Painter calls it, triangle handle, which they all have, apart from the small dry brush, the large dry brush, the stippling brush, and the vehicle and terrain brush. Okay, um, this brush here, nano precision. Alright guys, I'm just going to try and speed through these, so it's going to take a while. Uh, the next one up, you've got your insane detail brush. Okay, so... Again, small highlights, facial tattoos, um, you could probably use that for the iris and eye. Uh, again, sable hair, 
uh, and that's probably the war gamers, uh, the war gaming range's most popular brush. Certainly, uh, I know a few people that have just got this one because they they really like it. The next one up would just be your detail brush. Uh, good for painting weapons cartridges and fine highlights on a face of a character. The next one is the character brush. Um, again, it's good for applying base coats and highlights with really good precision. You've got your regiment brush next. Now, the regiment brush is considerably bigger than the uh, character brush that we just looked at. It's just good for base brushing, basically. Um, I just purchased the whole collection in a pack, uh, which is why I have the whole collection. I thought may as well just uh, just spend the money once and just take care of the brushes. Uh, the monster brush is brilliant. See if you're highlighting tanks or your, um, <laughs> as the brush says, painting monsters. See if you do tyrannids. This is the brush for you. Uh, good for like dragons, trolls, war machine vehicles. Uh, it's, it's brilliant, and this is a a, a Tory synthetic brush. This one, I think I actually said at the start of the video that they were all synthetic. That's incorrect. I uh, didn't mean to say that. Um, this the size could potentially drown a miniature in paint. Um, if it was sable, but because it's Tory, the uh, the paint seems to just kind of flow nicely from the tip of the brush. Alright, that's that brush. You've got your small dry brush, again pretty self explanatory. Uh, if you're dry brushing a weapon, if you're dry brushing uh, small items then go for something like this. The bristles on this brush are actually cut at an angle. Now this actually helps for when you're flicking the dry brush on, like say a coronary uh, a model or a cartridge or a gun or something like that so that's really quite handy uh, it also restricts the amount of paint they can hold because at the base of a paint, a circular brush uh, it, it tends to hold more paint in there the next dry brush you've got is the Wargamer large dry brush same again, cut at the angle uh, nice flat brush uh, really good for highlighting your tanks and things like that next, stippling brush uh, stippling brush, you know, I have, to be honest with you, I haven't really used the stippling brush. Uh, I imagine it will get some pretty good effects, but I can honestly say that of all the packs that I had, I've, of all the paint brushes that have come in this pack, it's the only brush I haven't actually used. Alright guys, but basically, it's nice and stiff. You know, it's not going to flex when you're using it and again a kind of nice action on it as well okay the last brush last but not least is our vehicle and scenery brush so it's a flat stiff end okay which makes it perfect for highlighting edges and tanks uh, dry brushing things like scenery as well um, to most vehicles uh, <laughs> If you do a monster army like your Tyranids, again, this along with your uh, your monster brush are going to be pretty handy because you're layering with this brush and then you're finishing off with your big dry brush, basically. Um, it's just an enormous dry brush. Again, flat tipped. And that's pretty select, guys. For all of these brushes, uh, I paid... It was £45 in total I paid for these, uh, and as I said, they've lasted me uh, uh, longer than any brush I've ever had, uh, which is why I'm, I basically rave about the brushes. But the one thing I want to point out here, just before I end the clip, is the reason they've lasted me so long is because of this stuff. Okay, I don't, this is the Musters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. Alright, guys. Every time you use your brush, it's basically soap for your brushes. It's a wee bit dirty in there, but... So, wet your brush, get the paint all off of it, dry it off a wee bit, put it in here, give it a good scrub, you know, just watch so you don't damage the bristles. Give it a really good scrub, put it back in your water, rinse all the resin off of the brush, dry it off, and then just before you put the brush away, just take the tip of your brush, 
okay it would be better if this was ideally clean but you want to just I'll just zoom in a bit take the tip of your brush and put it against the side and twist the brush on the way out and you see that forming a nice sharp point on the tip of my brush now what this is going to do for you is it's going to help your brush maintain the shape that it needs to get precision details now you can also fine tune it with your fingertips just to get that perfect finish all right guys so this is tom here from the miniature war room and this is our review on the army painter war gamer i give these brushes a 10 out of 10 i think they're absolutely fantastic uh, as I say, we've used a lot of other brushes, guys, and, you know, not ideal. If you've been doing the hobby for a while, I would recommend just jumping straight into the Wargamer range. If you're new to the hobby, then I would start off with the three hobby paint brushes. Okay, as I say, you can pick them up for about £3.50 each, or $3.50 each. The Wargamer range are a wee bit more expensive. They're about $5, £5. Pounds. And again, can be purchased on eBay or direct from the Army Painters website at thearmypainter.com. Alright guys, like, subscribe, comment, uh, we'll have a wee discussion on this. Catch you.